Yay! Congrats! You, you did, did it! You managed Anita Santiago's care from the moment she was thought to have TB, through the diagnosis and treatment, and on to her cure. It was plenty of hard work, and now you have gone through each step of managing a TB case. Let's take a moment to look back on everything you learned. It all started with a call from the hospital. You found out how your health department gathers information for the initial report, who needs to be informed, the TB laws in your state, and how to protect yourself and others from becoming infected. Then you prepared for the initial interview with Ms. Santiago. You started to identify her infectious period, identify the potential barriers with her treatment, and conduct that initial interview. That was a lot of work. And when you're doing this with a real case, you're expected to conduct the interview quickly. You'll never know when the call is coming, so always be ready. Next up, it was time to create a plan for managing Anita's care. You determined who needed to be on Anita's case management team and each person's roles and responsibilities. You reviewed the recommended treatment regimen to ensure she would get through treatment safely to completion. You identified potential barriers to adherence and figured out a way to overcome them. You assessed her living situation to develop a plan for her hospital discharge to keep her family safe and to assure Anita would have all she needs. Finally, you began organizing and planning her contact investigation. Once you created a plan to manage Anita's care, it was time for the hard work, actually monitoring her care through the long haul. You made sure she received her recommended treatment and continued to get better. You also kept an eye out for any side effects or adverse events she may experience. This takes a lot of time and commitment, but the results are worth it. Now Anita is cured and you help prevent the spread of TB to many other people. Finally, you were able to close the case. You confirmed Anita completed her therapy, you finalized the paperwork in her file, and you provided her with any follow-up education she needed. By now, you've gathered plenty of tips and tools throughout this training and should have more confidence managing TB. Remember to reference your personalized notebook and network list. It's full of ideas, resources, takeaways, helpful tips and contact information for people in your local area who look forward to helping you when you need it. Just a few housekeeping items before we say goodbye. Please complete the evaluation for this course. If you want CE or CME, for all your hard work, you must complete the evaluation. And for everyone else, we love feedback. Please take a few moments to let us know how we can continue to improve this course. Make sure you say thank you to your coach. And don't forget, your coach is a great resource, so keep in touch. You've probably been working on this course for weeks or more likely months. Check in with your boss, your supervisor, or whoever made it possible for you to have time to work on this course. Let them know you've completed the training. Let them know what you thought of the training. And talk to them about any additional training you may want or need. And finally, celebrate. It's a big deal. You're done. See, we're celebrating with you. We love to celebrate. Whew, that was fun. Did you have fun? I have fun. We saw you dancing just a little bit. Okay, well, you're all done, and we're all done, so it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye